Okay, because we're going across the border right now, you can't even find it on Google Maps. Look, the whole of the whole of Bethlehem is just a completely grey area. It's not even registered on Google Maps and usually when I go when you go across the cell phone signal cuts out so it's a little bit intimidating. I'm looking for Bethlehem. What? Bethlehem. Here we are at the checkpoint. This is what so many of the I've heard so many of the Israeli mothers worried about their sons and daughters, you know, standing on a checkpoint where People have been attacked. The Israeli soldiers have been attacked before. Here's the border. Oh. Wow. It's definitely got a different feeling as soon as you get across the border from Israel it's got it's got a heavier feeling here and remember it's actually illegal for an Israeli citizen to come here to come across the border because it's too dangerous it's too dangerous it kind of puts the whole situation into a, a little more context away from some of the bias that we do see in the mainstream media and the liberal media okay we just went past the walled off walled off hotel uh, which was created by banksy as a protest against the wall the walled off hotel uh, with Walmart next to it. So we've got all these kind of left-wing, uh, uh, you know, political motives uh, you see around. I say left-wing because it's all, it's all part of that liberal agenda, which is echoed in the mainstream media. Uh, and also with Banksy, we've seen many different occult Freemasonic symbolism that Banksy uses. So you can see the tie between uh, the secret societies and that kind of artwork and where this is all coming from and Netanyahu has a he's he, he's in a mess over there he's got a bunch of uh, Palestinians they call themselves Palestinians on his southern border who want to uh, form a Palestinian state they were offered one in 1948 and they rejected it and uh, so they want to form a state of, uh, of the Palestinians which of course is going to be an enemy at his back door do you see a lot of terrorist attacks against Israelis happening in Israel that kind of go unreported in the in the press? There are knife attacks probably weekly now. I would say there's, there's weekly. Usually weekly, there's something going on. You'll hear get breaking news: stabbing attack in Hebron or stabbing attack in Jerusalem. So you will hear it. The, it may not be a huge, big stabbing attack like what you'd see in the news. That would you know, if someone dies, it probably gets more news attention. But you know, someone is lightly wounded, but it's still a stabbing attack. We see some isolated terrorism going on in Israel, uh, committed by Palestinians, and also some other cases across the world. What What are your own thoughts? It's a stupid just to go like and try to stab someone. It's, it's about the thinking and also uh, the young people here, most of them they don't have uh, hope in life. So they think when they do that, so people would think about them that they are heroes. But the, they are not actually heroes, like that's stupid to go and stab someone.
So these are the Palestinian schools indoctrinating the children? That's right. It's like a military operation. Right, absolutely. They, they're revving them up for the right of return to, but by force of arms. They don't, they don't mince words. What were you saying? So there was a BBC... We know that there was a camera crew down at Damascus Gate and they were filming down there. In Jerusalem? When a terrorist attack took place, yes. And um, Of a Palestinian... Uh, there was a knife attack that happened. And when they put it on the news, the only bit that you saw from the knife attack was the bit where the soldiers, the Israeli soldiers, were shooting the Palestinian dead. And I, wow. I wondered, I wondered where was the editing in this? Yeah. Did they film, and I don't know, did they film the whole lot? Mm -hmm. Why is it you've only just got the, the Palestinian bit where the Palestinian was shot dead? I just felt that it was bad editing, that you just showed one side of the story. Yeah. But again, that's indoctrinization. You don't want people to think that there was a knife there. You want people to think this Palestinian has been shot Right. For no reason whatsoever, then they've planted a knife. Right. You know. So, so why no, is it always anti-Israeli? That's the irony, you know. Well, it's it's part of the agenda. So this is a Palestinian settlement on the West Bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Hundreds, hundreds of homes. I don't know if they're apartment buildings. Most of them are single family dwellings and we're talking minimum $1 million a piece from what I can see. It's a very different picture to what we're kind of fed in the mainstream media. Yes. This road leads to Palestinian village. The entrance for Israeli citizens is dangerous. No, everybody in that neighborhood can come into our towns, settlements, without any threat whatsoever. But if I if I go past this entrance to this place right here, they're telling me I will be uh, at danger of my life right. and, uh, and physical well-being. That's what the sign says. So j pretty much Jews are banned? Yeah, so that's what the sign says. Somewhere right in here, I think. This is called Sinjil. This is called Sinjil, and this is a Palestinian community Look at that. Paid for by the United States. You get the flag. If I took someone who was specifically Jewish, took them to Hebron, and they Hebron, said, yeah. I am Jewish, then they could possibly be attacked. Or they could be attacked or they could be kidnapped. Or... I've heard a lot of Israelis say that the terrorist attacks here against Israelis are not, are not reported in the Western media. No. They feel very kind of... Because they're happening all the time. ...underrepresented. They're happening all the time. Yeah, there, there is there, every week. There is a stabbing against his, Israel against Israelis, the soldiers or something. Wow, you know. They're, they're kind of they were mean. Mean so because you you believe in Jesus yes. and not Muhammad. They would say, you know, people that change their religion should be killed. Right, right. Yeah. And they even don't practice their, their Muslim. Okay. I mean, and they were expecting me to, to turn a Muslim. Mm -hmm. But no, I believe God will never leave me. He provided, you know, the chorus that says, I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. Mm -hmm. So uh, at times I went to see my family. Uh, my, my relatives, aunts and cousins, but they weren't happy with me because uh, they would tell me, you know, say Muhammad is the prophet of God. I said, you know, I don't know. I never learned it to say Muhammad is the prophet. What's your opinion on Israel as a Palestinian? Do you, do you dislike Israel? Do you dislike the Jewish people? I'm good with Jewish people and Israeli people, but Maybe like I don't like uh, what sometimes what they are doing, especially especially the soldiers. They some sometimes like humiliate Palestinians and but like it's okay for me like to know Israeli person or Jewish.
How do you feel about Israel? Me, I uh, have nothing against Israel, but although we are, you know, we are all under occupation. Uh, but what can we do? I mean, it just happened. Uh, when we look at the Bible, you know, the, the Lord gave it to them. But now the teaching is the, it's the, the Jews or the Israel, it's a new Israel. But although I don't believe it, I don't know. So you've heard some of this teaching where they replace the Jews and say that they're no longer relevant to God? Well, yeah, I have heard this teaching. Mm. I have. So you don't but think that's true? I don't, I don't believe that God promises something even however, uh, you know, difficult a nation would be. He still is there and He promised to keep them. He said that they were, they will be scattered, mm -hmm. no matter what, but they will return someday. The restoration of the Jews to their land and the recreation of the Jewish state is a unique event. It never happened in the last 19 centuries and it is uniquely associated in the Bible with the end times. What do we see here? Naftali. Oh, Naftali. Yosef. Binyamin. Binyamin. Yeah. After the Asher, mm -hmm. the other tribes here, Gad and Dan, Issachar. So, so let me ask you something. Is the, the name Settlers? Settlers. Settler, is it fit with the 12th pride, uh, pride or, or it doesn't fit? A, a settler doesn't usually uh, mean a person that has uh, owns the property. Mm -hmm. I mean, we think of uh, occupier. Yes, right. settler is occupied. So it's the wrong word, you know. The interpretation. Wrong... Settler occupier doesn't say, doesn't really explain this issue regarding the twelve tribes have been granted by God. It was a covenant. This was given to them. Mm -hmm. So they they're, they're really from not the from, the... from from God's perspective. God's, yeah. God's perspective, they're not settlers. No, with Nachalim. They're owners. The owners, yes, of exactly. the land. Exactly. They're new owners. Exactly. Yeah, prophecy coming true of the uh, the Jews coming back to this land of Israel. And uh, yes, and there will be dancing and singing. So you feel it's a blessing to see this after 2,000 years. It is definitely when God has put a love of Israel to your heart, to your heart, you know, like, and you see it with your own eyes, and you're part of it. It's everything. It's uh, you can feel the joy, and you you feel like you are part of something. What God is doing. You, you are, you're walking into a prophecy. The 12 tribes of Israel, the land is called Israel. So it's wrong, settlers. The word, the word settler is wrong. Yes, to the, call them the, settlers. it's wrong. They're not, okay. they're not settlers. And how the Arab call them? The uh, Arabs call them occupiers. I think there's a lot of jealousy. Um, I, I you know, trace this uh, ongoing problem back to the, the offsprings of ha offspring of Hagar and the jealousy towards uh, uh, Israel at that time. We've heard a lot of lies about, uh, as Hitler would even promote it, uh, that the Jews were in control of everything. Uh, such uh, such uh, um, extremism and uh, no foundation in reality. And uh, it's just a blatant, um, you know, ongoing hatred. Um, what Israel represents, we think of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Does the anti-Semitism in the Western world and the Western churches concern you? Do you think that this is getting more and more of a problem in our time? Actually, it's been a problem for a long time, for more than a thousand years, 1500 years, uh, more than that, close to 2000 years anti-Semitism. But it has a resurgence in our day and all around the world, people uh, are again attacking and hating the Jewish people. You ask yourself, why? In the world, would they do that? It's, it's, is it the, a, a demonic thing 
that people would be so anti-Semitic. Uh, and uh, the reason is because when the fulfillment of revival comes to the Jewish people, Jesus returns. The devil knows this. He's got the Bible too. And he understands these things, so he does not want to see the success of the Jewish people. If he can wipe them out, it will interfere with the purpose and plans of God. So anti-Semitism, hatred of the Jewish people, is rife in the world. And it has crept into the church. Uh, but there is a phenomena where the church is waking up. There's actually a reformation of love toward the Jewish people all over the world. The church in our lifetime has started to pray for Israel, for the peace of God upon Jerusalem. I think as a Palestinian Christian, for someone like Sabha, she can agree with the theology that God gave the lands to the Jews, but sometimes it's sometimes hard it's... when you see all the, um, the issues that are happening, you know, the attacks and the lack of mercy right. and the lack of grace. So sometimes Sabha will see how the, the soldiers have acted against something. And that's what somehow would disagree with. Why did right, they not right. show mercy right. and things? Right. We don't always know the whole story, the whole situation, but mm -hmm. um, she still believes that God gave the land to the Jews, well, even yeah. though we not don't. Not I believe the Bible. Yeah, yeah. The Bible talks that. I mean, I, it's not my belief. Yeah.